Imagine you have multiple scenarios for which you need to authenticate to your application every time you run the test. In my example, I have two tests. And if I run both of those, uh, you can see that for every scenario, first I need to log in to create the article. And then the second scenario, I need to log in again to delete the article to run both tests. And if you have uh, many tests like this, let's say 50 or 100 tests, this way of repeating authentication flow through username and password field, click login, username and password field, click login is not optimal at all. You're losing the time and also creating pressure on your authentication system. So instead, you can use a built-in Playwright feature uh, to bypass uh, this authentication uh, using the storage state. And let's implement this scenario on this uh, demo project. So first of all, I need to create auth setup.ts under the test that will be responsible for authentication to the application. So going back to the test and I create new file auth.setup.ts. Then I'll copy part of this code from the example. So the imports and the file for the storage state control v okay so i'm just creating the import importing test as a setup just providing a different name and also uh, i provide the path where the uh, session for my application will be stored so it will be on the playwright folder dot out folder user dot json and then let's move our authentication steps into this setup test so i call it setup authentication and it will be just a regular async with a page and just like this so now i am moving these steps from here to the setup right here and quickly reformat and after we logged into the application we need to save the storage state uh, into this file. So uh, going back here and I'm copying this last line, await page context, storage state and path file like this. After we clicked sign in button, we save the storage state of the current page context into auth file, into this guy. It does not exist yet. It will appear soon. And also very important thing. So you have to be sure that your application is properly loaded before you're trying to get this storage state from the application. In the example provided by the playwright, they're using here a GitHub. So you can either wait for the URL if this will be a trigger for finalizing of the loading of the application, or maybe wait for some visible element on the page that will signal to Playwright that yes, this page is fully loaded. In my example for the Conduit application, I will use uh, something like wait for, uh, wait for API response. So when the response for the uh, home page is loaded, then it means that we are good. And I'm going to use Conduit at Bonder Academy. Uh, inspect network and I will use this tags endpoint for example so if this tags endpoint load request is completed this tags endpoint is responsible for this tag section it means that the home page is loaded and we can grab the storage state information of the authenticated user so going back and I provide it over here so that's it. What's next? How to run this setup? The setup is configured in the playwright config.ts. So we currently have a project, Chromium project, a single project that responsible for running the test. And we need to create a precondition that before running this project, run the setup step file first to create the storage state. So I'm going back to documentation and uh, this is this line so i'm just copying this and pasting it to the projects so this is the name of the setup and test match by setup.ts which is auth.setup.ts and now we need to reconfigure the existing project to create dependency on this setup.ts so i am grabbing this dependencies 
and pasting into the existing project. And also I need to specify uh, which storage state do I want to use for uh, this project and copying this line as well. So write this right here and right here I need to put the comma. So sounds about right. So we're using a single Chromium project. This project should use the storage state saved into user.json and to receive this storage state we run a dependency setup project. So this project will be executed first. It will generate for us user.json and then project will use this user.json throughout the test. Now we can go back over here and for this test, we no longer need these steps to log into application. We can safely just remove it. All we need is just before step, just open the application and that's it. Once application will be opened, since it's already using storage state, it automatically will be authorized. And we just need to continue the rest of the execution for both of our scenarios. So that's uh, how it works under the hood. Let's try to run it. So I'm going back to the tests and running the demo.spec.ts. And look, when I trigger it first, auth.setup.ts is triggered. It's executed. And now my two other tests, test number one and test number two are completed. Perfect. The tests test was executed successfully. And after that, we see that new playwright auth user.json folder was generated. This user.json saved the information about the storage state. So playwright automatically figure out the structure of this file. Our current application has pretty simple authentication process using just JWT token. But if you will use more complex and advanced uh, authentication process, for example, auth0 or octa or any other process, Playwright will figure out what kind of information should be saved into the users.json so you don't need to worry about it. All you need to do is just to set up this alt.setup and let Playwright figure out the rest. And one little thing. So once this file user.json will be created, make sure that you add this file under git ignore, dot git ignore. Make sure that you do not commit this file into your repository because it may contain sensitive information such as, uh, for example, access tokens and something like this, just to make sure that those tokens will not be publicly available in the repos. So that's about it. That's how easy you can optimize authentication to your application using playwright storage state. If you like this video, put the likes and subscribe. Uh, find the useful links in the description below and I'll see you next week.